Hi everyone, uh, this is a video uh, to uh, talk about um, my other video that I made a year and a half ago um, called uh, How to Record a Studio Quality Pop Song uh, in less than an hour using GarageBand and Vocalive. So um, first of all I'm going to answer to all your questions and comments about it. Then I'll be uh, telling you uh, why it was easy and quick to answer to another um, rough uh, comment that I had. Uh, and then I'll give you a piece of advices uh, to have the best uh, quality uh, um, sound. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, answer to the question uh, how to use a vocal live and garage band at the same time. So when I made this video a year and a half ago, um, I basically uh, did all the instrument uh, part on GarageBand. I exported the song into iTunes and to mix um, into my computer. Open iTunes, uh, save the song, put it back on the iPad in my library as just the instrumental part, sorry. And then open Vocal Live, uh, add the song, uh, record uh, on the track number one, and then I record um, the vocals on the track number two, three, four, depending if you want to put harmonies or whatever. So, and then when you're happy with uh, your recording, you uh, export uh, the song as a song or a file, or you can put it on SoundCloud directly. Uh, email, but um, I uh, use it, um, or I export the song back into iTunes, back in my computer. So that's what I did uh, at the time that I um, did this um, tutorial uh, with uh, GarageBand and Vocalive, but now I can add um, another uh, app called Audiobus. So I've put a link uh, below uh, with a really good tutorial uh, how to use Audio Bus. So this app, um, you can find it on the App Store. I'm not really sure if it's free or not, I can't remember. Um, but uh, actually it allows you to um, use two apps at the same time. So you can use Amplitude, any app, um, music apps that you've got um, and um, to use GarageBand and all the other apps. So you've got input, effects and output. So uh, if you want to use only vocal live and GarageBand, uh, you click on input, uh, vocal live and then output GarageBand and then stay on GarageBand uh, app and you'll have the uh, small uh, vocal live icon instead of the mic. Uh, microphone that you have usually when you record your lyrics, your vocals, uh, and then you'll you'll be able to use both. But there's a really good tutorial about it, so the link is below. I invite you to go and have a look. So um, these are the two options that you have uh, to use the two apps. One is very long and you have to be patient, and the other one needs a little bit of uh, knowledge as well. Um, when you use Vocal Live, make sure that you um, do a new project and you set up all your um, vocal effects before going to GarageBand. Uh, and then from GarageBand, uh, you can uh, start recording. But first, you have to do this this thing on Vocal Live. Uh, so I hope that that's one of the questions. Um, I hope I've answered it. So uh, second uh, comment was about uh, how did I manage to get such a good uh, recording quality song. Uh, that's because uh, I'm using um, the iRig mic, uh, which is gives you a really really good quality uh, song. Um, what I I'm not going to make a tutorial about the iRig. I'll put in a link again. <laughs> Uh, about a good tutorial. Um, I reckon the iPad mic is really good as well. Um, so basically when uh, you're using a vocal live and you want a good uh, sound, I suggest that um, you 
your headphones, uh, what you hear in your headphones when you're recording is low because there will be noises around and that will give you a, a bad quality recording. So what you have to do is um, turn down uh, a little bit the instrumental part that you've got from Garage Band into Vocal Live and when you record um, make sure first of all that you for example in your bathroom because there's a natural reverb or in a place uh, in a room where you've got carpets or not next to a window or um, you know so that that's a trick um, that I'll give you for a good uh, quality uh, song um, also, what, um, another problem and an issue with Vocal Live is that when you export your song back in your computer, I uh, don't know if you noticed, you've got a 20 second gap at the end of the song, which is silence. There's nothing there, but there's this, uh, your, your song will last 20 seconds uh, more, uh, and you've got this, this, this um, 20 second silence, which is, uh, which is bad. I don't know why can't answer to that question but I know how to um, avoid it uh, if you want to put your song on YouTube or SoundCloud or Facebook or whatever you I've downloaded a free software on my computer called Audio City which is very good and very simple to use so what I'll do is open Audio City import the, the song that I made out of Vocal Live and GarageBand and I just um, cut the, I just delayed the, this, this 20 second silence at the end of the song and then I just export uh, the song back into my desktop or file or whatever and my song is ready to be um, downloaded into YouTube, SoundCloud or whatever. So this is a little uh, trick according the um, sound and the um, quality uh, of your recording. Now um, I had a, a, a nasty comment or a rough comment. Well out of 30 comments I only had one uh, bad one saying that it was a lie that you can't record in less than an hour. Yes, uh, you can do it. Um, that's uh, easy because and I answered to this person saying that I didn't use any instrument, I didn't use my guitar, I didn't use my bass, I didn't use anything except as an instrument of my voice. Um, I only used loops um, and uh, smart instruments, so that's why it was easy to record a, a studio quality pop song as it's in the title. Uh, so. I'll give you a piece of advice uh, how to record a simple um, song on uh, Garage Band, just the instrumental part, of course. So um, I go, if I want to cover a song uh, known like, let's say, uh, Foster People, uh, Pom the Kicks, okay? Uh, I went on the website called yieldtomateguitar.com. Uh, I got all the um, chords, I wrote it down. Went on Garage Band, okay. Open Garage Band, new um, new song. I selected first of all uh, the beats, very important. Then my first track is uh, the drums, so I select the drums, and I've got my first track. The second track will be automatically um, a small instrument, uh, but the lead instrument uh, will be the guitar or the piano. Uh, also using um, um, the, the chords that I got on Ultimate, so you just record that as a loop and that will be all along the song, the same chords, okay? You do the same thing, so drums, a lead instrument, guitar or piano or both, uh, the bass, okay? And uh, you just select the length of the um, song you want. Usually I'll put into a hundred uh, section. I don't know the name of the um, thing because I'm French so uh, it's in French. Um, but I'll go into a hundred. That's um, roughly five minutes recording. So it's only loops all along. And then my next uh, track will be a vocal lead track. 
uh, you're going to say, oh, but she she's recording her vocals on Vocal Live, and now she's saying that she's uh, using vocals on, on Garage Band. Why is that? I'm using a track, this vocal track, to help me to know when um, the chorus starts and when there's the second verse and when there's the bridge starts and everything. So it just gives me a um, guide line. It's a guide line track that I'll delete at the end. Just to help me um, uh, to know when should I cut this section to you know to, to make the song more um, more pop or to because if you just do all the tracks like that uh, just loops it's going to look really plain so if you sometimes you just cut uh, um, uh, the guitar a, a little bit of the guitar and just put uh, just the bass for example it gives you another atmosphere in the song um, so you just uh, cut delayed or if for example uh, your song um, the verse uh, goes in with four, the, the same four chords, but the chorus there's different chords. Then you just cut, delete this uh, on the guitar track, for example, the piano one. Cut, delete, and then you re-record with the good uh, chords that goes with the chorus or the bridge or or anything else. So this is how I record, and that's why it takes uh, only um, one hour. It's just because. Um, I'm only using loops, uh, so I'm not using my guitar. Uh, if you want to use your instruments, or if it's your original song, of course it will take a bit longer. But uh, for my original song called Weekend Blues, that you can listen on SoundCloud, the link is below. Um, I um, use six hours um, because I've added um, the guitar and my bass. Um, and yeah, so it took me six hours, but still, um, I think it's quick and easy, as it said in my tutorial. Um, yeah, so um, I think that's it. Um, this is just little tips. Uh, I invite you to go and have a look on SoundCloud uh, to my 12 songs that are recorded. Uh, just with Garage Band and Vocal Live, uh, and you, I hope it will give you inspiration and shows you how many things are possible with these two apps. Um.